apologize for your face, but she's still sad. Uh, well, did you bury her up to her neck in the marsh and leave her overnight? Of course, but she's just as useless as ever. Well, I'm afraid we'll have to take some more blood. Grimgilda, yes, take two pints. Yes, sir. You should be all right. Well, I'll do everything humanly possible. Fortunately, we barbers are gods, you know? Medicine is not an exact science, but we're learning all the time. Why, just 50 years ago, they thought a disease like your daughter's was caused by demonic possession or witchcraft. But nowadays, we know that Isabel is suffering from an uh, imbalance of bodily humors. Perhaps caused by a toad or small dwarf living in her stomach. Well, I'm glad she's in such good hands. Is this Theodore, Barbara of York? Say, don't I know you? You work on my back. Well, what's wrong with the front here? <laughs> I was at the festival of Val E. Crocs, and I guess I had a little too much I had some stuff before I was stuck, and it all happened so fast, it couldn't stop me. It's hard. Uh, well, you'll feel a lot better after a bit of bleeding. But I already uh, am bleeding. Say, who's the barber here? <laughs> okay, he's. There's something for my out of my my neck, my leg. Okay, well the uh three of us will get you this give it here. And um and what we're doing is separating the broken bones. Now if you don't feel better tomorrow, we'll just cut your legs off out here. Okay. I think I'll feel better tomorrow. For Gilda? Thank <laughs> you. 